How you doing YouTube? This is Chris Mizo here with another video about Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connection issues with your new PC build. Or maybe you have a new PC and you don't know exactly why your PC is not working correctly with your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connection. Some of you may experience server interruption while you're in the middle of gaming, which is the most annoying thing, especially if you're in the middle of a kill streak. You might be in the middle of some sort of very important communication to where you need to connect with your Bluetooth headset. We're gonna do our best to figure out what that issue is. Just stick with me throughout the whole video to make sure that we get this problem solved together. If you find this content very useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you enjoy content just like this, and if you're into tech, you want to join the big wonderful fan band, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button. Today, I want to announce the giveaway winner. And that winner is... It is Bo. Congratulations, Bo. I will email you with all the information. And thank you so much for being part of the fan band. And you guys, congratulate him. And he truly deserves this beautiful Xbox Series X controller. Have fun with it. Let me show you exactly what the problem is. But let's go to the PC to figure it out. If you're experiencing a problem with Wi-Fi or issue with Bluetooth, the problem could somewhat be related. The very first possible solution is to go to your motherboard's manufacturer website. For example, for my PC build, I used a ASUS TRX40E gaming motherboard. So I would go to ASUS's website you go to support, you would go to your motherboard, and you wanna go down to drivers and manuals. So you wanna enter the download center. For me, I have the TRX 40 E Gaming motherboard. As you can see, it came up right here. That is it. I go to driver and tools, and then I go to support. Once I got to the support side, I saw exactly what I needed to update on my motherboard. So typically you will click download and you'll see it come up as a zip file. When it does, you should either have WinRare or WinZip installed and then you can click ASUS setup. Once you open it, it'll create a temporary folder for you to install the Wi-Fi driver. Make sure you go down and check if there's a Bluetooth driver as well. And it looks like there is. You wanna go here and you wanna click download Open up that zip file and now click ASUS setup.execute. Open that up, click yes, and it should install that driver. Now, if you have a problem installing the zip file, go to the zip folder where you have it at, open it up. You're gonna highlight everything except that parent folder up on the top. Click extract to, for example, I like to extract finds to the desktop. You could put a backslash and call it Bluetooth driver. It will create a folder for it. It'll be right here. Open it up, right click it, click run as administrator. Yes. And it should install the driver. If this resolved your issue, you don't really have to proceed to the next step. But believe it or not, even the manufacturer's website can also be out of date. And that's why we could proceed to the next step. Go to start, right click, and go to device manager. As soon as that comes up, your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth should appear under network adapters. As you can see, I have an Intel Wi-Fi 6 AX200, so you know exactly which driver this motherboard currently contains. Another way to tell is you can go to your motherboard's support page, as we are here. If you still have it open, you can also check the driver on here. As you can see, it's Intel Wi-Fi driver. It doesn't really have the full specifications like it does in Device Manager, but that's why we go there. But as the Bluetooth driver, you can also see Intel Bluetooth driver AX200. This tells you what kind of Wi-Fi chipset that this motherboard contains. Your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth should appear under network adapters. From there, you can see where your Wi-Fi Bluetooth adapter was actually manufactured. As many motherboard companies such as Asus, MSI, AS Rock and many others typically don't create integrated Wi-Fi chips. As you can see, my motherboard carries a Intel Wi-Fi chip. If you're wondering if an AMD motherboard can have an Intel chip in it, 
The answer is yes. As you can see, I have an AMD Ryzen Threadripper 3970X and it still contains a Intel Wi-Fi chip in there. The next step after you confirm the manufacturer, you go to their website as I would go to Intel's. So on Intel's you go to support and you wanna to go to the download center. If it's easier for you, you could automatically update your drivers. You could click get started. This is a much more easier option. As you can see, my drivers are up to date for my PC. And typically if it is out of date, it will let you know immediately and it will download the drivers for you or recommend the drivers for you to download. What you can do is you can get Intel software. It'll be called Intel Driver and Support Assistant. If this does not resolve your issue and then you tried this, you wanna make sure to check if your Windows is up to date. Sometimes this is really easy to miss. Even if you think your Windows is up to date, take a look at this. Hit the Windows key and X together. Then you wanna to go to settings, go to update and security, click check for updates. As you can see, my Windows is up to date. Usually you'll see another little grayed out area here. And if you see that grayed out area where it says optional updates, you wanna make sure you click into that. If you do have that optional update, make sure you check out everything because it will install all the drivers that are most compatible with your Windows build or other drivers that you've been missing from your PC. How can that be optional, Microsoft? The only thing I do not recommend to update the GPU's driver, especially if you have a dedicated GPUs from Nvidia or AMD. If you're still experiencing issues, especially if it's PC that you've built, you may wanna try out this next because this happened to me. Most motherboards, most pre-built PCs even, have built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth in it. And most people kinda skim over this. Especially because, including me, I like to use a hardwired connection. I'm just old school kind of guy, and that's just how I am, and I always feel like that's the best connection you can get. What the problem could very well be is that the antenna that came with your motherboard or your pre-built PC is probably not installed. That will affect your Wi-Fi, of course, and it will also cause problems with your Bluetooth connection. So if you ever face an intermittent connection with Bluetooth or your Wi-Fi that you have, more than likely, it's very possible that it could be the antenna that is hooked up to your PC. If you're not too sure what the antenna should look like, it should look something like this. Sometimes it's not noticeable or look more just like an antenna. Just like this one came with my PC. And it's really simple. As you can see, it looks just like a coax cable. And all you have to do is install this to your motherboard. And usually it'll be on the back port. For me, it's right under my USB ports on my PC. If you install the antenna, it will eliminate not just the Wi-Fi issues, but it will also eliminate the Bluetooth issues as well. Now I can play 30 feet away from my PC without issue compared to where I had was practically leaning up against my computer case just to have some good connection. If you found this content very useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy content just like this, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button for more and join the wonderful fan bam. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for all the newest updates. Make sure you're following my Twitter handle right here. And guys, if you experience any other issues, make sure you put it down in the comments down below where if you have any other solutions that are common for your motherboard or common for that PC build that you do have. Please share with the fan band because I know that they'll appreciate it just as much as I do. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.